suspect that right now, you're looking at the colorful painting behind me. And now, you're looking at the blue painting behind me. And now you're looking at me. At least that is what I hope. I just demonstrated what a physical frame does, how a physical frame focuses our attention to whatever lies within its four borders. In the same way, cognitive frames help focus our attention. You see, our brains are not great at dealing with complexity. They long for simplicity, and that's where frames come in. A frame tells you to look here, not there, and a cognitive frame tells you to think about this issue one way as opposed to another. And this makes frames and framing incredibly powerful tools when it comes to advocating publicly for your business, something that I suspect many of you are doing right now as you're all dealing with the corona crisis. You see, there's a reason why voters who might not want to support business still are in favor of supporting small business or local business, even if the underlying policies are quite similar, and why achieving energy independence often pulls better than promoting green energy. And indeed, why President Trump continues to call the coronavirus the Chinese virus. All of this is about frames and framing. In this interactive, engaging, and very practical session, we're going to jointly explore the power of framing and how you can use it to your advantage. This is a session that is perfect for IMD's new life learning mode. We'll be connecting with leaders from all around the world and across industries to jointly explore the impact that framing has on your business and how you can use it to obtain an advantage over your competition. Join me, David Bach, at the session Frame or Get Framed at this year's OWP Live.